Today's deck list was an absolute throwback because we are running things like Leer and extra turns. And honestly, I probably had a little too much fun today. <laughs> That's right, guys. Today we have a win con that's a bit of a throwback here. We are trying to do some extra turns, something that was very popular about a year or so ago. And uh, this deck is sweet, man. We got a lot of ramp mechanics and doubling up on spells. It's really sick. So let me go ahead and break this thing down for you. So the idea is to try to get the Alchemist Gambit down on turn seven to take an extra turn, of course. And that is going to be copied because we're going to have a Chandra on the field. So, of course, right away we see a lot of, you know, six and seven drops here. That's a lot of mana needed to pull this thing off right so of course we're going to need to ramp pretty excessively well i'm going to be doing it with analyst and the blossoming tortoise and we'll get into why in just a second but basically the analyst it's one of the biggest ramp spells you can hit if you hit it properly and you've already put in a couple of sack lands and then it mills out a handful of lands you're going to get a very explosive four mana ramp into you know three four sometimes five mana at a time this card is really sweet and then the tortoise of course filling up the graveyard pulling cards back from the graveyard to the battlefield and lands in particular uh to ramp us up is very uh, good as well and we do run two leers and the reason we're running leers is because the blossoming tortoise and the analyst when they ramp they are also filling up your graveyard with things that are going to be pretty important to us like ill-timed explosions moment of truths fading hopes all these spells that are instant sorcery spells that we're going to want to copy with chandra it's a bit of a you know control you know ill-time explosion sweeps the board we've got a lot of card draw that also puts things in the graveyard thirst for discovery moment of truth and then we've got fading hopes to kind of slow the opponent down along the way in case they drop some bigger spells on us but then the leer's going to allow us to replay all these things from the graveyard now here's where we get our win con because taking extra turns doesn't win you the game unless you're of course beating the opponent down well that's where seize the storm comes in this is going to get us a big elemental token based on the number of instant sorcery speed cards in our graveyard is how much power and toughness this thing is going to have now if we can copy that even better and then on top of that uh, we can replay it with Lear. Oh, you know, and it already has flashback built into it, but we can replay it again with Lear. Uh, we have Doppelgang as well, which, you know, this is going to be a, a one of in the deck because we don't have a ton of things we want to copy. The token will be nice once we get it down. But for the most part, this is going to be utilized to copy the opponent's threats and try to win with their own cards, which is a pretty fun idea, which is why it's a one of. But anyways, this deck was a lot of fun. We got a lot of really good games with it, and I think you guys are going to enjoy it. But we'll jump right into it. Enjoy the video. We'll see you at the end. Peace. All right, here we go, guys. We are going to be trying to play some extra turns. I'm super excited about this one. Uh, I haven't played extra turns in a minute, so it'll be really, really fun. I got a couple Chandras in hand with an Aftermath. Uh, my Shush Charm doesn't get us any green lands, though, which is a bit scary, but I run so many lands in this deck that it shouldn't be too much of an issue to find. Um, No, I don't think I can keep that. That'd be a little bit unfortunate, I think. Okay, so this is a lot better. We got a green, but we need a second green one for the tortoise. Human. Okay, so the ill-timed explosion is going to be very important here in this matchup. Uh, Green. All right, so Fading Hope also should be pretty helpful if we can bounce the Warden after it's pumped itself up a bunch. Novice. Warden does the whole tapping. Yep. And they scry where? To the bottom. We like that. No way they got the goblins. They got the goblins. Let's go. Okay, they're off to about as fast of a start as you can get. Get old Boros, man. Especially when they hit the god draw. <laughs> Good stuff. I'm on two lands and they've already got five creatures on the field. Bananas. Sure. A little bit of a waste there on the removal. They send everybody. We're going to go ahead and scry a little bit. Another land is not necessary. All right. We got the thirst here on turn three, which is nice. Um, I do need to get this ill-timed explosion off ASAP. Okay, so three or more creatures attack this turn. That's how they got the uh, case to fully. Okay. 
And they're full sending, sure. Why wouldn't they? Right. That's a smart play. Down to seven. Here we go. Let's draw two. Discard one basic, hopefully. Yes, we got the basic. We got the ill-timed explosion ready to go now. I love that. Let's go. And we really only need to drop something of two on the relevance meter. So we drop you and you. That takes care of the whole field. Love it. They're starting fresh. We're, we're looking good. We got Blossoming Tortoise next turn. It's going to ramp us into a Chandra. Hopefully Chandra clears up the rest of the field at that point. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, Tortoise down. Go fetch a land that gives me life and hopefully a red source here. No, Brokers does not give me a red source. So I'm going to have to take the Chopper. Or the copper, not the chopper. The copper, copper line gorge. It's gonna allow me to get the uh, Chandra played next turn. Two, four, six, and I can pick off the inner sky and the inspector. Do they attack into us here? There's no way, right? No, they just go ahead and pump up the field here. I mean, they could swing in with the inner sky now if they want to, which they do. Um, yeah, I'll trade. I'll trade. It's all about defense right now. All right, here we go. Here's where things start to get a little bit fun here. So we go with the minus. Uh, we'll go for two. Take you and you out. All right, Chandra's at a nice loyalty where uh, the Mirex token will not, you know, kill it. And then I'll be able to double up on the extra turns. Oh, goodness. I forgot about the clue token. I thought we were safe there, but okay, we're fine. That is totally fine. Chandra makes it through the turn. Gambit ready to go. Oh, this is going to be so good, man. This is going to be so good. They don't even attack into the Chandra. They say they say have it. Okay. So be it. Extra turns activated. Extra turns activated. You love to see it, man. Here we go. Uh, let's get another blue land here. And let's start extra turn number one. Another Chandra. Um, I am going to go. I've actually not tried this before. I'm going to copy the doppelgang. I actually don't even know how this is going to go. But one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Okay, so we can only do it twice. That's fine. And it copies, though. Let's go! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Let's blow this up and this up. Oh my god. <laughs> this. This is ridiculous. And like, keep in mind, I still have one more turn after this one. Oh my God. Oh, what a find. What an absolute killer of a find. Shoot, I forgot. I should have probably played the Leer first. It's okay though. It's okay though. All right, we activate. Activate our cases here. <laughs> Everything gets a pump. Oh my goodness. And we get doppelgang again if we want it. Bananas, guys. Straight bananas. We just beat one of the best decks on one of the best hits they could have had to start the game. Absolutely love it, man. They couldn't have had a better start than they had, and we somehow are coming out of this on top. GG's, let's go! <laughs> That is, that is amazing. Oh, that felt good. What do you think about that one, Marsh? Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right. Opening hand here looks sketchy. Um, I'll keep it. I have the thirst and I do have blue mana and I run so many lands that I should be able to find a third land drop. So hopefully that gets us there, but we'll see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And it's Gruel too, which is going to be fast. I'm going to regret that keep, huh? I usually do. Oh, thank God. 
Thank God. I like that it's Gruul and we have the ill-timed explosion in hand. Oh yeah, it's dinosaurs. Okay, maybe I don't like it so much because that's a six toughness creature. That's going to be hard to get rid of unless I drop like a Chandra. That's not good. I only really need one tortoise, I guess. Ill-timed explosion. What do we do? I think we go fading hope here on the hammer skull. I think we go fading hope. Slows down the pace a little bit here. That's a green source. We absolutely will take that. And we drop doppelgang. That's a little bit of a late game maneuver. And then maybe ill-timed explosion or yeah, probably ill-timed explosion. I've got to. <clears throat> All right, do we play the ill time? I could drop the storm. That's a that's another late game play for us here. That's nice. Up you and you. Yeah, that seems good. That seems good. They don't get the mana ramp now. Okay, that was a little bit of a long turn for me. I apologize, but they don't get the mana ramp now. I've got Chandra like next turn, which is pretty sick. Uh, looks like we don't want Chandra though because that's a 4-4 with Ward 2. So instead... Instead, let's go here. Block Sack. I like that. Block sack, get back all of our lands, which we didn't drop very many at all, right? Just the one. Oh, jeez, it's just one land, dude. We kind of got screwed. I should have went tortoise there. That was my bad. I thought we had more lands than that. All right, block sack. Let's get the one land back onto the battlefield. Uh, we probably need another green, right? All right, if I go Chandra, I still don't love that. Uh, if I go here, what would you sitting at here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, that's a pretty big creature. Eight is a pretty big creature. Maybe that's the move. But then if I... Hmm. If I go that route, though, then it's gone for good. Yeah, it's still the right play, though. Still the right play. An 8-8 against the Dino deck, you definitely want that on the field, right? Does a good job of protecting me a little bit. Um, do a 7-6 Trampler, though, with the Discover ability. Oh, they're going to Discover twice, too. Yikes. Oh man, that's bad. I shouldn't have kept the hand to start this game that we had, but that's what I get. That's what I get. All right. Three, six. They got the two for the ward. Oh my gosh, what a top deck. What an absolute goaded top deck. What a goaded top deck. We are going to lose Chandra. That does hurt, but you know what? It couldn't have been more perfect than that. That was sick. This is only going to continue to grow. Oh my God, dude. That was... That was so dirty, man. That was filthy. What a freaking top deck, man. Ill-timed explosion couldn't have been better. I kept such a bad hand to start that game. I did not deserve that win, but that was that was pretty awesome. Okay, opening hand here finally looks fantastic. This is a starting hand that you want in almost every situation. I will keep it. Also, guys, I really don't know what the deal is with my with my dog. He he really does genuinely like to just sleep in this room behind me. Like right right in the beam of the lights. It's weird. 
He like sits there in the lights and just kind of chills. <laughs> like, doesn't that like blind you? It's like his favorite place to be though. All right, analysts. Nice, we hit two lands. We did find an ill-timed, which is unfortunate, but two lands is great. Ah, okay, not as great anymore. I needed that to be alive in order for it to be truly great. There we go. I'll play that in a minute. I'm gonna wait though. Because I want to make sure I can play it and then sack it immediately. Have a ready charm. Let's go find maybe a red. Angels. Okay, is this the? C yeah, this has got to be the CGB angel list, huh? Which, ill time explosion is pretty nice to have in this matchup. Are we going with the face down? Or are we going with the four? Three lifelink body. All right, four two. It's a four two. Okay. Four two lifelink. Uh, let's see if they're willing to block here. Little maestros. They are willing to block. Wow. Sure. Oh, that is a massive hit right there. Let's go, dude. We're gonna we're gonna thin the deck out so much here that our top deck better be something spicy. Angels again. Here we go. I can't remember if they run um what angels they run. I know it's Giada, this one. Uh they do have the five mana haste one. Yeah, that one. Aurelia, that's right. Forgot about that one. Alright, sure, sure. Here we go. Massive, absolutely massive. Um, I wouldn't mind finding like a doppelgang or a Chandra. I mean, something big here. I need something big. Cabo ready, Cabo ready is green. And then we'll get the blue from here. Oh, I can't get the blue, we're out of blue. All right, sure. Uh, let's go take a look and see what we find. Put one in my hand. Yes, you. One into the graveyard. You. Keep you in the deck. I mean, yes. This is so good. This is so good. I cannot believe how well this thing is actually like performing and how good it's doing. All right, we don't want to mill ourselves out here, though. That'd be a terrible, terrible situation. There's a Leer. I needed that. Uh, let me see what's left of my deck here. We got a mountain. Just a mountain. So with that being said, we'll get Cabaretti. Go get that last mountain. So we kind of got to refrain from attacking with the Blossoming Tortoise here because we can't really afford to mill ourselves out anymore. Just don't be an Archangel of Wrath. Oh my gosh. I've literally called every play so far and it's been the worst possible scenario. Gosh darn it. Next time I'll burn even brighter. Still got a Leer. I don't mind drawing a couple cards here trying to find a... Yes, let's go. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Leer. Chandra. Well, someone had to say Let's add two mana. Use it wisely. How many extra turns do I still have in here? All three? Oh, and a doppelganger? That's so good. Okay. In that case, let's do this and go find those cards. Your heart. Okay, extra turn in our hand. Graveyard deck. And again. And hand graveyard deck. I don't know if that was the right call, but we'll take it. All right, 
sweet. End the turn. We got Fading Hope to protect the Leer. I don't think we'll need it, but you never know. Uh, we got the extra turns coming up. We got the Cs. Uh, this is going to be bananas. This is going to be bananas. B A N A N A. Yes, let's go. I can only imagine we're going to hit Doppelgang off the top, too. I mean, we've only got 16 cards left. Odds are pretty high that we hit a Doppelgang very soon. Splendid Angel, sure. How about we send uh, both of these right back to where they came from? No, don't scoop! <laughs> no, don't scoop, man. We were about to, ah, oh, we were about to combo off so hard, dude. We were gonna go extra turns and get so many big tokens, dude. Another wildly good hand here. I love it. Let's go. I hope he, I'm gonna keep it 100% real with you guys. I did not think this deck was gonna be good enough yet. I, I thought I was gonna have to tweak this thing to the moon and back. I thought this was gonna be one of those really long days for me recording, but little did I know we actually had a banger, <laughs> a banger in our midst. Uh, so good. All right, let's go here and see what we hit off this thirst. I need to find some more lands. So let's decline this because the more lands we get into the graveyard, the more we can ramp. So let's put this in the graveyard and this. <clears throat> Beautiful. We've got enough mana now. We can instant speed the analyst at any point here. I might just wait, to be honest. I might just wait. Good game. What? What are we doing? Ugh, I think because they know I was about to ramp by a lot. I mean, three three additional lands here on the next turn, I think. Yeah, three additional. That that really does frustrate people, and I get that. But just to quit like that is crazy. Man, the poor opponent just did not have what it takes, I guess. Um, all right. Wait, is this the same person? It's like the exact same rank. I can't remember if this is the same person. All right, we'll keep this though. We got ill-timed explosion. If we see just guy colors, it might be the same. No, it's not. It is not. Let's go find blue or green. We probably need green, right? Because we got double green for the tortoise. Got to make sure we choose the right colors here. <clears throat> moment, of, moment of truth will help us. And then uh, ill-timed explosion. Very, very good here against mono red. But let's see if we can get there in time is the question. Double checking to see if that was instant speed because I wasn't one hundred percent sure. Oh wow, no pump spells or anything. Really? Uh, um, let's put this in our hand. This in the graveyard. This definitely back in the deck. <clears throat> A 1-3 body is really nice against the Kumano. Got two two lands in the graveyard. Nothing really crazy. Demolition field. And squee. Okay. Squeeze out a 3-3. I will block the 1-1. One, one. Yikes. Okay, not great. I might have to pull off the ill-timed explosion here. Gosh, that doesn't feel great though. It really, really doesn't because I'd rather ramp. Maybe I, you know what? I block here next turn, take the one, two, three, four, five, and then ill-timed explosion. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's the move, man. I don't know. I don't think we can win this though. I'm going to be honest. It had to gone first, maybe, but I don't think we can win this. Oh, yeah, that's not great. That's not super great for me. Okay, that's got trample. Oh, brother. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine total damage. So I'm gonna be at one life here. <laughs> one life, and then the ill-timed explosion. Uh, it needs red, and I don't have red, so unless I'm willing to take the one damage to play it. <laughs> That'll do it. That will do it. Um, maybe we find red with this. We found red. Not the one we wanted, though. <laughs> Not the red land we needed. That's a bummer. All right, that's game. That's game. It's all semantics at this point. GG's. Dang, we finally, we finally get stopped. I only get stopped by mono red of all things. Okay, I mean, this hand looks pretty spicy. I've got the fading hope early here into the explosion. I think this is definitely doable. Top 900 again, and it's another, another mono red deck. Oh, I'm fine with it being mono red, but just let me go first. These are the, like, I'm cool with like going second against a lot of the things we've been going first against. Just mix it up. Give me, give me first against Mono Red. Give me second against the other stuff. Uh, another green land. Uh, I think we're gonna find another land by the time the tortoise comes out, right? I think so. Or not. That might not be. Not a, might not have been too wise to throw that land away. We'll find out though. Okay, the Inti is good because it doesn't have haste, but it does give a 1-1 one, one counter to something. Uh, they choose not to use it, though, because... Okay, perfect. Maestro's Charm gains me a little bit of life. I'll take it. I will take it. Got double green. Gonna need double red eventually. Not for a while, though. This time they will use Inti because they, they actually have mana open, so they could actually utilize the card to exile. They throw away a lightning strike though, which is huge for me because... Okay, they draw another one. How unfortunate. I was going to say, it was huge for me because I didn't want to take a 3 damage to the face, but they immediately do exactly that. Alright, we need to drop something at least 3 power. You... And you cleared up the field feeling good only two lands for the opponent here they just drew another land perfect okay discard a card to draw two more that's not ideal because that's also going to draw them a bunch of cards every single turn if they meet the requirements of uh emptying out their hand which most likely they will definitely going for the life gain here we're almost there though, guys. We're almost there. So close. One, two lands in the grave. Okay, they can't really attack into me unless they have a pump spell. Looks like they might have one. If they do, good on them, but I'm gonna block either way. It's a shock. I can live with that. I can live with that because it's still a trade. It's still a trade. All right. Beautiful. Someone had to save the day. Absolutely beautiful. Come on, lands, 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 lands. Ah, we got one. I wanted more of the life uh life gain lands, but we did get one land, so I'll be I'll be happy with that. Okay, draw two. These these cases have helped red a lot. I'm never giving up. Don't kill it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, they want an empty hand. Okay, makes sense. They want the empty hand. Let's go, All right, we start with extra turns. Ooh, gonna get scorching hot. Extra turns, let's go! <laughs> as soon as they saw the extra turns, they wanted nothing to do with it. Oh, uh, they were out. Out. Okay, we beat Mono Red. Thank God we got over that hump. All right, a beautiful curve out here. We got Fading Hope, Moment of Truth tortoise i'll i'll keep this every day of the week <clears throat> i do need to get a red land at some point but as long as we got the double green for the tortoise i think we're gonna be fine <clears throat> i 
your uh your prayers have been answered here with the red land man i'm so glad we got that one back against mono red that was very scary all right let's get the moment of truth or the fading hope ready to go All right, Fading Hope only hits creatures. That's not going to work for that. Okay, so we know what they're trying to do now, though. They're trying to... They're trying to reanimate something here next turn if they find another blue land, which I'm sure they will. All right, let's put this in our hand. This in the graveyard. It's so funny that I got to talk through that every time because I will screw it up. <laughs> I absolutely will screw it up. All right. Lands, come on. Hit me with the lands. Perfect. We'll take it. We'll take it. So are they going to draw this card here? They are. That's a really good card, by the way. The Great Door is a really sweet card for people who are trying to uh, reanimate. So they drop a spell, Pierce? Here we go. This is the moment of truth. If they drop something big, we know it's coming back. All right, it's a land. Beautiful. That buys us at least one more turn here. Modern Age, sure. All right, so we've got a we've got a decision we have to make here, guys. Three lands in the battlefield, or I'm sorry, in the graveyard. We have four, five, six, seven. Okay, I think that we attack and then we just go for the analyst ramp. I don't think we go for the tortoise ramp here because we can actually get the extra turn next turn if we wanted it. Not that I think I even want the extra turn because it doesn't really do anything but giving the extra turn because we'll have exactly seven mana. Oh, no. The Siege the Mirror. Okay, so that means they're going to find the spell they need to cast to bring this back. Yep, there it is. Reenact the crime. Okay, here comes the Breach the Multiverse, I'm, I'm assuming. It's always something crazy. Yeah, I'm going to send this back. Return to sender. That's unfortunate, man. Good news is I can kind of fading hope away the Atraxa soon too, because I can just drop the Leer next turn. And then fading hope the attracts in the, after that, but it's not it's not ideal, man. It's not ideal because they, oh God, they are they are set, man. They are set. They've got everything they need here. Yeah, I don't think I can win. Unfortunately, is there any way out of this? I'm just gonna try to ramp my way here into the. Chandra, double turns. Uh, let's get another red land here. This is a really broken card, man. This reenact the crime. It is really difficult uh, to get it off on turn four uh, or even five sometimes like they just did. So, I mean, good on them for being able to pull it off. But when they do pull it off, it is busted. Like... Silly, silly busted. <clears throat> so we got the five. We got the fading hole. Okay, so I'm going to bounce the attracts the next turn. With the Leer fading hope. Force them to have to, you know, replay from hand or just reanimate it again. Collector's Vault is fine. All right, so that basically takes up the rest of this turn. We take seven damage from the attract, so they gain. All good. All right, here we go. Um, I need to play blue. Oh, wait, actually, if I do that, oh, I won't have enough blue sources, man. I don't have enough blue sources. Shoot. I'm going to have to attack. All 
and then reanimate. Oh gosh, reanimate my lands. Shoot, I should not have gotten a double red on that last one. Um, in hindsight, obviously I picked the wrong land when going for the tortoise on the last play because I I didn't uh, get the next blue land that I needed to cast the Leer and the Fading Hope. So that was a bit of a bummer. They don't block though. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it, but uh, it's going to have to be the Analyst here into the Leer play. But I mean, I think it's a little late. You never know though. You never know. I'm going to keep fighting here. Until they hit like a breach the multiverse, I'm going to keep fighting. But I mean, their whole hand here is stacked with cards and they're about to get back um, the ability to, you know, play things for free. <sighs> Comes down to this, huh? Ten cards in their graveyard. Reenact the crime and they bring back what we thought they would All right, and now they got the ability to play anything they want from their hand by just exiling cards from the graveyard Which is not hard for them to do They passed the turn though, okay, so it's not gonna be a breach the multiverse. That's good It's really good a lot of mana we have now we got 13 lands here so four five six i could go double turns immediately that's kind of silly we might actually pull this off guys i don't know i don't know but we might pull it off okay i don't quite understand okay i mean i guess i understand because it mills them Sure. All right, come on. Get all the lands we can get here. Green, green. And probably blue here. All right, so we play Chandra. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we got enough mana to, to do double turns, man. Kind of nutty. Kind of nutty, man. We've seen Spell Pierce, but Spell Pierce does nothing for them here in that front. All right, we go red, blue. Extra turns. Try to get two turns here. What a game, dude. What a game. What a game. Okay. We don't attack. All right, extra turn number one. Let's utilize this properly by playing this. Oh, this is this is going to be this is going to be crazy, guys. OK. Fading hope. Do we fading hope? Yeah, we fading hope you. That's fine. Damage has been done. That's fine. No and then we fading now. hope you. Okay, and then we do three here and here. Your toast. Uh, do we play this again? Wait, why can't I play it again? No, I don't have double blue. That's why. Okay, so I don't have double blue. So Let's attack Let's play this first And this Okay, then we attack I think we win guys. I, I really think we win. We're gonna get a blue land I think we win, man. Um, Leer should have extra turns in the yard, right? We sure do. Good game, man. 
Good freaking game, dude. Okay. Absolutely massive. Um, Broker's hideout for green. If I have another green, I think we've pretty much taken everything out. No, we have one more green. Perfect. Okay, down to 10. And then we just close it out here on this next turn. Beautiful. GG's, baby. Let's go. Oh, my heart. My heart. My heart. My heart. What a game, dude. <laughs> I really didn't think we were going to pull that off. Oh, my God. What a good game. That's going to do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. We'll be back again here tomorrow with another deck list for you. I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I did. I love this deck. It's so much fun. I, I do want to keep playing it a little bit more. And uh, I do have a live stream tonight. We're going to probably just be hanging out, doing some ranking up on the ladder, maybe trying out some new things. Uh, but come on by and check that out. Hit the notification bell if you haven't already. So that way you're notified when we do go live on the channel. But uh, we'll probably be playing a little bit of this. But again, I hope you liked it, man. Extra turns is always so much fun whenever you can mix that into something. And uh, I think with Chandra, it is chef's kiss. But uh, we'll be back again. And I appreciate you for watching. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of the video. That means a lot to me. But also a huge special thank you to the Mardu Mob. If you guys don't know, the Mardu Mob is the membership program on this channel. So huge thank you and shout out to the people who support me monetarily every single month. It means way more than you might know. So thank you for the support. I appreciate it very much. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace. Up three times like a hat trick. Yeah. The name is says you know Patrick. Yeah, yeah. If you play him, then it's tragic. Hit him with the mythic. Yeah, that's magic. Yeah. Ooh. FTG, that's what you'll see if you like and subscribe. Where's the upload, man? Uh, man, all of the time. Coming with the best decks, but the meta. This ain't cheap, yeah. It's